Marketing is sort of a game where you keep throwing things against the wall until something sticks. And as small business owners, we are still trying to figure out what exactly our bread and butter is. So we have to try any and everything. Hey guys, my name is Peace and I want to welcome you to my channel, A Piece by Peace, where I talk about my journey. Ooh where I talk about my journey and different steps I'm taking to grow my small business, Deloitte. This channel sort of gives you a behind the scenes on what it takes to start from the ground up. If you're also starting your business, I want to invite you to join the community of baby entrepreneurs figuring things out as we go. So today I am speaking about a series I am so excited, well, I'm always excited to talk about everything, but I am really looking forward to starting this series on my channel where I try different strategies, different marketing strategies I've come across online to see how they affect and possibly grow my business. I am sharing this information with you guys because I also want you to test them out with me. Marketing is sort of a game where you keep throwing things against the wall until something sticks. And as small business owners, we are still trying to figure out what exactly our bread and butter is. So we have to try any and everything. Each strategy I mentioned in this video will have a separate dedicated video where I will film over the span of 30 days or however long it takes. And I will keep track of my progress and at the end, I will let you guys know what the success of that specific strategy was and if I would recommend you guys to try it out as well. If you guys are interested in that, please feel free to subscribe to get notifications on when those videos come out. For now, I will just give you guys a general overview of the top 5 marketing strategies that I'm going to use to blow up my business. The first strategy that I would like to incorporate is posting on TikTok and Instagram three times a day. I'm sure we've all seen everywhere, specifically when it comes to TikTok, that you need to post multiple times a day to get picked up by the algorithm and be blessed oh, with the gift of virality. In order to accomplish this, the plan is to create enough content to post three times a day, well, two to three times a day. I'll probably combine different video types like educational how-to videos, trending videos, and maybe duets and stitches. I don't know. I'll work out all the kinks in the dedicated video. But here's the overall game plan. The day before, I will create a list of anywhere between 3 to 10 video ideas I want to create. I want to keep that list relatively short because trends cycle out so quickly on social media. So let's say I create 9 to 10 videos in one day and I'm posting 3 times a day. That means I have 3 days worth of content and depending on the trend, if I wait too long, yes, even by 3 days, I might miss that gap where I could possibly go viral. Since I'm batching content, it's important that I'm not holding on to those videos for too long. Two, so that was the day before. The day of, I'm going to wake up as early as possible and film for about two to three hours and then edit for maybe another hour or so. Then I'm going to start posting. I know that TikTok allows you to schedule your videos using their web platform, so I just might utilize that tool just to decrease my workload. Three, since Instagram is low-key a TikTok wannabe, I'm just going to remove the watermark from my TikTok videos and upload it to Instagram. That way, I have content for both my TikTok and my Instagram page. Gotta work smarter, not harder. Yes, queen! Yes, queen! Those are the steps I'm going to take during the 30-day challenge. The next strategy is a bit more aggressive, but bear with me here. This is a strategy I am calling the FDM or the follower to DM strategy. Step one, I'm going to log on to Instagram 
I'll go on to other business pages that are similar to mine and see who exactly their followers are. More than that, since it's easy to give just about anybody a follow, I'm going to go into their content and see who exactly is liking their posts and who is commenting. Accounts that do this typically show really high interest and buyer intent and might possibly engage with my content as well. So. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a follow. Step two, assuming that they follow me back, I'm gonna go ahead and send them a DM. Maybe, a, you know, a little voice note just to introduce myself, tell them a little bit about my product and let them know that I'm here if they ever have any questions. I feel like this is a way to make things more personable because at the end of the day, I'm still a human behind the screen. And if we engage in conversation past that initial introduction and they comment on any of my posts or my future posts, I'll go ahead and give them, you know, a little coupon just to, you know, give them a little incentive to purchase my product if that's something that they would like to do. I feel like this might be very labor intensive only because you know i'm following people one at a time i'm dming them sending them voice messages one at a time and i'm only one person but i am curious to see how this might affect my following my engagement as well as my orders so the next strategy is one that i'm not really a big fan of and maybe it's because i don't personally respond well to this form from other brands and that is email marketing i'm glad you brought it up because i've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute first of all i've seen so many people speak about the importance of email marketing and how it can help bring in more sales but one thing about me one thing about me is if a business starts spamming me with emails and pushing their products in my face constantly i'm unsubscribed because now you're doing too much and i understand i understand the concept that customers need to be exposed to your product what is it i think like at least seven times before they make a purchase but if all those seven times is in seven different emails notifying me seven times a day it gets very annoying <laughs> either way this isn't about me this is about the people that do respond well to emails. So here's a strategy. One, create a list of different email types, whether that be newsletters, uh, product updates, customer surveys, and here's a chart that gives you a list of different types of emails to send out. This list is also featured in the article that I wrote about this topic, so go and check it out. Figure out which days you want to send them out and schedule them. I feel like this strategy might take a little longer, so I might keep track of it over the span of two to three months instead of 30 days, but we'll see. In the dedicated video, I will go over the emailing software I plan on using, the templates, as well as the content that I will create for the emails. So look out for that video if that is something that you're interested in. Numero four. The fourth marketing strategy is influencer marketing. I'm really looking forward to using this strategy because I feel like this one in particular will probably be the least labor intensive out of all five strategies and will expose my product to new people that I wouldn't have been able to reach before. The strategy for this one is to one. Compile a list of micro-influencers with a dedicated following of people who appear to be my target audience. And this will require a bit of stalking. If you do want to use this strategy, what you have to do is first check out their content. Do they use products or services similar to what you're offering? Look at who and how much engagement they're already receiving on their content. Do the people who engage look like they might fall under your target audience? Figure out which platform you want your product to be promoted on. Is it Instagram, YouTube, TikTok? Is it Facebook? Maybe Twitter? Two, create a budget. Odds are the influencer you're partnering with isn't going to promote your product for free. I know, sucks. So you need to figure out what type of monetary incentive you can realistically give to them. Will you just be gifting your product or will they get commission? Are you going to give them one flat fee to promote your item? These are things you need to figure out and be willing to negotiate over with the influencer. Three, 
you need to work out a realistic schedule. If holidays are coming up, you need to plan ahead of time to give the influencer time to create the content for you. There are people with lives as well, so you do need to give them a realistic timeline. And lastly, strategy number five. The last strategy I intend to use are pop-up shops. This is a form of in-person marketing and I honestly feel like this will be the easiest and quickest way to make sales, grow my social media following, as well as grow my mailing list, well my emailing list. Pop-up shops happen year round and if you can do at least one once a week, that can expose you to a lot of people as well as other vendors that you might be able to partner with. There's really only one step to this strategy and that is to do your research on pop-up shops. Find the ones that are dedicated to the industry that you're in and try to see if they have done something like this before. If it's the organization's first year or the pop-up shop is in a location that's a little bit out of the way, then you can sort of, you know, make Make the decision on your own if that is something that you want to go to or not because they might not get that much traffic which means not a lot of sales for you however if it's their 20th annual fair and there's going to be live music and food trucks on every corner that pretty much indicates that you know they've been doing this a while and they usually have a ton of people and you'll definitely make some money with that being said that was the last strategy. All in all, this was a brief video to one, give you guys some marketing ideas and two, give y'all an introduction to this new series that I do want to launch on this channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a comment and tell me about which marketing strategies you've tried before or which one out of the five that I have mentioned that you want to try with me. I look forward to hearing from you guys and I will see you later. Bye!